Dominican. Do you speak Dominican? No. Uh, okay, because it's, uh, Spanish and Dominican is not the same, huh? No. Ah. No. no. For example, in Spanish, how do you say a little bit? Poquito. Poquito. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Do you know how we say how we say that in Dominican? How? Un chin. Un chin. Un chin. That's a little bit. But if it's less than a little bit, we say un chin chin. Un chin chin. chin, chin. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's still less than that, we say un chin chin chin. <laughs> That's Dominican. Yeah. Nice. Huh? It sounds it sounds like Chinese, right? Uh, yeah, sir. Yeah. It's really Cantonese. It comes from China. When uh -huh. Chinese people started to come over here, they started to do trades with us. We have heard them talking about Chin. We thought they wanted a little bit, but Chin means money. <laughs> money, right? Money. Yeah. yeah. And there are so many words like that. For example, who knows the word mangu? I mangu like. means much plantains. It's a typical that. Dominican breakfast. Mangu. I, I love it. Hmm? He loves it. It's very Me good. Me too. Yeah. I eat it almost every day. <laughs> much plantains for breakfast. Yes. Oh, delicious. With onions, right? 
with onions? Con cebolla. Con cebolla, sí, sí, sí. Ah, bueno. French. That's a, a Dominican word. Where does it come from? It comes from the Do American Marines, 1965, Dominican Civil War. 42,000 Marines were sent over here. Hmm? What for? To our country to try to uh, control the Civil War. Uh -huh. And they were split all over the country. The friendly Dominican families gave them food. What kind of food? What we ate, much plantains. But every time we gave them that, they said in English, man, good. Man, good. Man, that's good. In a bad pronounced uh, English, mango. Mango, and that's it. Mango is now a typical Dominican word. It means much plantains. And if I continue like that, I do the whole tour explaining you everything about it. The money, you can buy pleasure, but not love. With money, you can buy uh, medicines, hospitals, eh? but not the health, not the life. With money, you can buy a house, but not a home, not a family. Hmm? With money, you could buy maybe even a woman, but not a wife. Little difference. Hmm? You understand the money is important, but not the most important thing. Eh? Not the most important. Really Dominican Republic, friends. We have a different mentality. We say the life is short. We try to live the life day by day as if it were the last day of it because tomorrow could be too late. Tomorrow you could be two meters under the ground. Hmm? Because the dead, we grab them two meters deep, except the mothers in love, 25 meters deep with the head down to be sure she never comes back. Yes, darling? <laughs> Sorry? Why don't they let the taxis in? They let taxis in. But uh, uh, there is a maximum quantity. Okay. There are inside about 20 taxis. When one leave, one come in, okay. comes in. You know, they let the taxis come in, of course. Okay, they just have them all sitting out there. No, 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 no. They are waiting for their, you know, okay. uh, to get in. So, friends, first of all, I would like to start introducing somebody very important on this excursion, and it's our driver. Yeah. So, uh, our driver's name is Luis. Luis, say everybody, Buenos dias, Luis. Buenos dias, Luis. Buenos dias. His nickname is El Chino. You know what that means in English? The Chinese. Yeah. 
I don't know. Must be like a year. You see those roots and herbs inside? Seven different types of herbs and roots used by the natives in the past. We put them here. We put one finger honey, four fingers of vermouth wine, two or three fingers of rum, vitamin R, brown rum. We let it age for a couple hours, days or weeks. We put it in the refrigerator, should be fresh. Yeah. And once we finish working, Take a couple shots to relax, to distress, to digest, but also as a liquid Dominican blue pill.
<laughs> no secondary effects. That's the best. Huh? Let's try it. Don't drink it immediately because I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Don't drink it immediately, please. Hold it for a while. I'm gonna teach you how to drink a real mama wine. And I'm gonna be inside how to make a real cigar. Because when you talk about Dominican Republic, you have to try rum and tobacco. Those are the two main products of our country. Sugar cane. Okay. Don't worry, it's your problem. Girls? No? No? Not in other age? Uh, wait until 21. In our country, it's 18. Uh oh. Okay, the real Dominican. We do it like this. Repeat after me. Say, Arriba! Arriba. Arriba. No, 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 no. You have to, to tell it like, Arriba! Arriba. Arriba. How do you like it? Hmm? Yes, because it tastes a little bit sweet. Different than the other. Uh, are already drunk? Yeah. Now follow me to see how cigars are made. Until the bottom, please. Yeah, it is sweet. in our country since November ahead. Hmm? November. Why? Because in summer it's too warm, too hot, and the sun and the heat, it burns the leaves. It should be only during the less warm months of the year, which are December, January, February, March. If you grow tobacco now, impossible to grow because it's too hot, right? Every 10 days we harvest it, piece by piece, leaf by leaf. We hang the tobacco like this to dry for about four to six weeks. But the tobacco, the dried tobacco, let's feel it. Let's smell it. Okay, this is dry. Uh, for over. Yeah, I'm out. Smell this tobacco, please. Smell this tobacco and please give it to the other ones. That's only dried tobacco. Only dry. Dame the friend of now smell this one. Now smell this one. You feel the difference? Which is the difference? Five years of age and fermentation. Because after the tobacco is dried like that, it's not ready to make cigars. Why not? Because it hasn't been fermented and aged. The good cigars hmm, are made with aged tobacco or fermented. To ferment an aged tobacco, it takes between two and ten years. And while the ferment, well, during the agement, you have to put alcoholic drinks of the tobacco, right? You have to omit, uh, how do you say, to put this uh, alcohol like rum or whiskey or cognac or brandy or wine, and then you age it. And this is what gives the odor or smell on the tobacco. There are different types of tobacco to make a cigar. For example, get closer. This guy is going to make a cigar since the beginning until the end. To make a cigar, you need at least three different types of tobacco. Three. You use the rub leaves, the ribs, and the outside leaves, which are different, all of them. Something else. He uses the whole leaves. Some cigars are made with cut tobacco with garbage, and then it's not a good one. 
How do you recognize that? When you enjoy it and the ashes, they fall down immediately. The ashes should stay a little bit longer to know that this is a good cigar. Look how he rolls it. And this is the first step. Ah, the glue is not chemical. This is the resin or sap of a tree to stick it. Because in a cigar, ah, you can't use any chemical products. Everything should be natural. First step of a cigar, first step. And you put it in here. You press it for about half an hour. Don't tell the prince, ah, look at him. Over here, you have to press it for about half an hour, 45 minutes. And once you press it, I'm gonna prince out. Look at the difference. Saca uno prensado. Look at this. Dame el reno está prensado todavía. Before and after. You see? Now he has to finish the cigar. Now it's missing the best and most important tobacco leaf. We should be the softest one. He's gonna use it. For example, you have touched, you have already touched this one, the ribs, which is like a hard tobacco. But this tobacco, touch it now. Look at this, how soft it is, very soft. It comes imported from your country, from Connecticut, United States. <laughs> yeah, it's imported because we don't have from Connecticut. Yeah, because uh, over there they grow this tobacco. We grow this tobacco too, but not enough for the bunch of cigars we made. We make at the country, such as it depends. If it's a black leaf, is a strong cigar. If it's a clear leaf, is a soft cigar. Huh? This one is a strong. The one that this it, it's coming from Africa, Cameroon, but we have coming from Brazil, from here, from Cuba, from different countries. Huh? It depends. Keep going. Dale vaya. If anybody want to buy Mama Juana, they have the bottles over here, complete, uh, ready. And once you uh, drink it, you can refill them again. And that's a good point. You can refill them for about 10 years. The only secret is never leave them or let them dry completely and keep them in the freezer. Yeah, at least a little bit so that the wood, uh, the branches and the roots, they keep humid. Everything is made with the hands. Handmade and finish work. Look at that. Hmm? Who wants to try it? Anybody wants to try? Would like to try it? I'm all like <laughs> the whole one, big one or a small one. Friends, if anybody need a bathroom, they have bathroom over here. We have some minutes because I saw that ladies taking a look around. If you want to take a look around in this little souvenirs market. You find a bunch of little souvenirs, and little ones, magnetos, paintings, wood figures, postcards, bar roads, uh, t-shirts on the other side, everything. Yeah? And we join us out there. Huh? Ten minutes? Is that okay? Ten minutes? Yeah? Ten minutes. Anybody want to buy some cigars? You can do it for a friend, for a family, for yourself. Hmm? Not for the mother in
preparado, con tesis y todo. No, 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 no así lo primero es que se les come la chapita. Ah. <risa> eso es lo primero, eso es lo primero. <risa> lo segundo es, se abren las piernas. Ajá, oye, no te mojes. Se pone el cuerpo hacia atrás, la cabeza hacia adelante. Como si te fuera a comer un hot dog. Y luego entonces, viene el ritual. Ah, mira, ni una gotita, ni una gotita. Ah, mira. 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 Ah. Wow. Tremendo. Le cayeron dos o tres gotitas. Dos o tres gotitas cayeron.
Thank you.